Dear friends, welcome, welcome to Bhaskar Photon Education Hub. In this video, we are going to discuss about the physics alphabets. Okay. So, as we know, there are alphabets from A to Z, but uh, in physics, these alphabets are very important and also these alphabets are very, very, very useful and easily you can able to understand within 3-4 minutes. This alphabets you can able to know and these are daily you will remember you need to understand especially while writing in any any answers and also while preparing for any uh, jobs or any competitive exams like MSET, NEET and IITJE. Okay, now let us go to the topic. Now here we see from A to Z. Now first we'll start with A. A is the acceleration. So what is meant by acceleration? Acceleration is nothing but it is the rate of change of velocity. What is meant by velocity? Velocity is nothing but the rate of change of displacement. What is the displacement? Displacement is nothing but the shortest path between the two end points. And the shortest path between the two end points. points shortest path. That is the shortest distance. I am going to displace it. Okay. So, all on matter. So, anyway, the one by one, the one by one, the one by one, the one by one, but coming to here, what is A? A is the acceleration. B, here is a big, a big letter, not a small letter. Here, B is the magnetic flux density. And C is the speed of light in a vacuum. C is the speed of light in a vacuum. So, we know that the speed of light in a vacuum is how much? C is nothing but this is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. Okay. And D is the distance. D is the distance, small d. And E is the exponential uh, factor, basically. Generally, we used to write, right? So, say E power 0 is 1. Okay. Like that, we used to write, no? So, so this is the exponential one. So this is uh, like 2.718, this number is given here, okay, and uh, small f is the frequency, small f is the frequency, and uh, small g is the acceleration due to gravity, small g is the acceleration due to gravity, and h is the Planck constant, h is the Planck constant, and i is the imaginary number, here i is a small i, which is imaginary number, generally this imaginary number, uh, we used to uh, know this one in, in mathematics, okay, but not only there, here in physics also we used to get this one and K is the Boltzmann constant, K is the Boltzmann constant and L is the length, L is the length and M is the mass, M is the mass and N, N is the quantum number. P is the pressure, Q is the electric charge, R is the radius, S is the displacement, and T is the time. Okay, U is the initial velocity, and V is the final velocity. Generally, this initial velocity and final velocity. So, when the body is in motion, you will be able to understand uh, where it is the initial velocity and how it is the final velocity. And our body and the particular uh, place nun chink oka place ku vellinate appudu daniki unnata vanti starting position lo unnata vanti velocity initial velocity initial velocity ani ending point daggarki reach ayyata vanti velocity final velocity ani ala man discuss chestam anyway ivanni malli manam next videos lo chustam anamata so then w is the width and x is the displacement and z is the electric impedance and uh, of course till z is here anyway if there may be uh, some other kind of uh, terms also will come duplicate but uh, mostly these are the, the basic physics alphabets which are very very required for our uh, daily useful to prepare for the examinations especially for uh, intermediate nothing but PUC and also the degree or BTEC level okay so this is very very useful and uh, we will have a next videos in uh, much more details about the important uh, topics exclusively for uh, 
um, intermediate level and also the degree at BTEC level. Okay. So if you are not subscribed yet, then you can subscribe. Inform to your friends and uh, ask them to share and ask them to follow. We'll have a separate classes, uh, separate uh, sessions for uh, competitive exams like uh, physics in uh, MSET and also NEET and uh, JE also. Okay. And we'll have a, a good number of uh, practice objective type of questions for uh, daily useful okay so thank you very much and you can follow for, for you can follow me for further videos wish you good luck